Ähm, da. Guten Tag. Bring me the brain, Igor. Think, big brain. Think. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Ähm, probier mal Potassium. I have a vision. Go diem. Go diem? That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. Uh. Damn, zip, nothing, nada. Okay, then we go back to work. Hey, Warren. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go potassium. Potassium it shall be. This works. You get a free hug. Weird Whoa. science. Um. Um. This, yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. Chemikalien, warte mal, ansehen. Bring me the brain, Igor. So, ansprechen. Hey, Warren. Maxwell, so... Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Okay, put I actually so. think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See? Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. She blinded me with science. I find it lustig. Entschuldigung. Hey, Warren. Maxwell's asking so. me. Have to add either. Okay. Oh my, I actually think you should use a. See? Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. She blinded me with science. Okay. You can be done. So, kann man hier noch was gucken? Warte mal. Kann man mit dir noch mal quatschen? Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds? I'm helping Warren with his latest experiment. Oh, I guess he needed a neophyte assistant so he wouldn't be threatened. But you came to his rescue anyway. Apparently, it's my nature. Yet, Warren ignores the experts right in front of him. Not that he would ask me for help anyway. I need to know if you can help me with a potassium experiment. No can do, Max. I'm all about robotics, not chemistry. Give me a drone over a beaker. How is your drone? Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. She's all jacked up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. You already planted a GPS on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. I hate to hit and run, but... Don't let me get in your way. So long. I bet if I touch the glass, all these creepy sea critters will pop up. Or nothing will happen at all. Mm. 
Mann. Ich hier fliehe hier wieder. Ist ja ekelhaft. So, kommt ihr mal hin hier. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. Thanks again for taking a stand against camera surveillance here. Every signature counts. How is your campaign going? You signed the petition, now it's your campaign too. Thanks for stepping up. More people would rather send a text than sign a petition. That's how they keep us all distracted. Nobody will notice cameras on every square foot. I know. I really hope you keep those cameras from taking over Blackwell. Max, with students like you, we sure will. Miss Grant, can I ask you a possibly dumb science question? You know my stock teacher answer. There are no dumb questions. Ask away. Would you add potassium or sodium to a chemical mix for this week's experiment? Neither. Unless you want a face full of powder. I would add chlorine. Was? I'm just thinking about all the autumn photos I want to take. Oh, this is my favorite time of year. I do love the season change. This whole campus is a visual delight. I know Mr. Jefferson loves to shoot around here. You must know Mr. Jefferson pretty well by now. I certainly know him as a talented artist and terrific teacher. I've been here a little longer, but he's made a bigger mark. I have to say, it's not quite autumn enough yet. What about that snow yesterday? What's your scientific explanation? Our climate is moving beyond explanation. Of course, some of the tribes here might see it different. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. Wie war ich jetzt mit den? Äh, warte mal, wir probieren wir es mal. Wir probieren es mal. Komm. Yes! That was a blast! But let's keep it a professional secret. Ich kann jetzt cool. leider auch nicht mehr zurückspulen. Okay. So kann ich. Warte mal. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was. Thanks again for taking my experiment so. Miss Grant, can I ask you a possibly dumb You know my stock teacher answer. There Would you add potassium or sodium to a chemical mix for this week's experiment? Neither. Unless you want a face full of powder, I would add chlorine. Chlor. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Okay, chlor. Okay. Hey Warren. Maxwell Silver. Asking me for help means you have to add either a bit of chlor. Wrong, Warren. You need to add chlorine, not potassium or sodium. Chlorine? I didn't think of that. Can't argue with a confident scientist. Let's try it. Eureka! She's got it. No, you got it. Don't be so modest, Dr. Caulfield. Oh, you guys really broke the bounds of science. Come on, photo. Session. That was fun helping Warren. He's pretty cute when he's in full-on geek mode. So. So you can't help me? I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Nobody. Um, what is this? Excuse me, Max. 
Can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Um, yeah, come. Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. Rachel was nothing like Kate. The Principal Wells said you had something on your mind you wouldn't tell him. You care to share? Come. I saw Nathan with a gun in the girls' bathroom yesterday. I was too scared to go to Principal Wells. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you this week. Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Yes. Make me come on, me. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig my little instant camera. Mal gucken, was kann man jetzt eigentlich noch für Fotos machen? Ähm, das habe ich jetzt nicht gesehen. Achso, das ist ja schon Episode 3, okay. Was ist das für ein Fenster dort? Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. Here comes the mysterious Max, disguised as a pixie hipster. Or paparazzi. I want that photo whore, or I get nasty. Too late. Meow! Bring out the claws. I love seeing chicks fight. Can I sit down, please? I don't know. Can you? Let her have the desk. That's all she's got. Assholes. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong. And weird. Come on, Ustin. Let's go, Ustin. What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier, and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. 
Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. I'll see we have you a lot to cover today, and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all That's over the world for people to judge. Usually, people need something to judge so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the conference. Steht da? Was ist dein Problem? Test. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in my Yo! Some crazy shit is going down in the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. What is it Dismissed. Rewind again and again. What is it? Los. Haben wir die Zeit verlangsamt? Krass. Ey, das Spiel wird irgendwie... Auf einer Art ist das Spiel geil, aber auf einer anderen Art wird es richtig abgedreht. Yes. Ey, Kate ist sowas von fertig. Power. Now I have to do this by myself? Max, seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. You matter. And not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours. 
and we can get through this together. Let me help. Like I helped by erasing all that crap people wrote on your room slate. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. Are you serious? Thank you so much. The fact that you don't care about that video and would come up here to stop me means a lot. I care about you because I believe you were drugged. We will find out who did this and make them pay. You sound so persuasive, Max. If only. Kate, I believe you. Will you believe me? Please, you don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Oh, warte mal. Komm. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. You're my friend. Forever. Can we hug on it? No. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. Warte mal, äh, Vater, Mutter, äh, ich versuch's mal mit Schwester. You told me about your sisters, especially the youngest one. What's her name? That's Lynn. She's only ten. She does have the best smile ever. I would hate to see her sad. Komm, Kate. Komm. Oh. I'm sorry. Sorry. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. Now I know today was difficult for everybody, but I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life. Of course, you're quite a hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. I didn't do much. She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah, real hero. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen. As our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not. And that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through. But Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything.
All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. The field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? Hey, that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Wait, Max. You told me that nothing happened yesterday. Are you just making things up? How can I trust you? I was afraid yesterday, but I have to tell the truth. I do understand that. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Whatever. See you in court. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and student just tried to kill herself. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. Come on, sir. Spool or... Wir können das schreiben bekommen. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. Es ist windig. I couldn't even believe it was happening. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand. And then I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Ever! You reached out, she reached out, hugs, tears, applause, like a superhero. Not quite. Look at me. I'm a mess. You're glowing. Seriously, a human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. I'm still worried about Kate. She did try to kill herself. <laughs> All over a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it? Just one. And a half times. Lauren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week.
Oh, erstmal schön, Johnny. Sehr schön. Also ich muss mal so sagen, wenn da wirklich eine Verbindung mit Rachel und mit Kate besteht, was ist aber die Verbindung? Bei Rachel ist er irgendwie auf einfach verschwunden. Aber Kate wollte sich umbringen. Wegen dem ganzen Mobbing in der Schule, wegen ein einziges verkacktes Video. Wenn sie sagt, sie hat nicht viel getrunken und liest den Wein, kann man nicht gleich so besoffen werden. Mal ganz ehrlich. So. Also wurden ja anscheinend K.O.-Tropfen ins Glas gemischt. Und der reiche Fatzke da, der steckt da mit drin. Hat er gesagt, äh, in der ersten Episode, irgendwie was mit Drogen. Ganz ehrlich, also. Und diese andere da, die kleine Schnepfe, kann man doch auch unter Ulk verbuchen. Also ganz ehrlich, ey, das Spiel macht echt ein fertig. Alter. Boah. Ich bin gespannt, wie es in Episode 3 weitergeht. Ich bin erstmal mit dieser Episode erstmal nervlich erstmal damit durch. Euch wünsche ich noch einen schönen Abend und wir sehen uns. Ciao.